Welcome back to Alma, Missouri for episode 14, where we're asking the big questions with me, Mr. Sealy P. We're back here on Alma again. Thank you for joining me, everybody. Um, after my video the other day, actually, I'm going to crack on with this. We've got some of our dried corn, which as far as I'm aware, we collect from here, which I'm going to go and then put across the way. There we go. Not a massive amount of it, but enough to get that going. I'm going to get the, the forklift over, get those moved, then we're going to get over to other food. Anyway, yeah, what was I going to say? Um, yeah, my video on... Um, Chipping Norton, the Court Farm crossover. I just want to thank everybody. Um, for all the people that reached out, all the people that messaged, all the people that, you know, said stuff. Um, and... What I want to say, I know I keep, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to keep going about it. I, I'm just, just to say that I, like everybody, I think gets overwhelmed at times. Everybody does. It's, it's part and parcel. Um, from, from the, from the comments I've had, from the people responding and reacting, I think for the most part, most people watch for me chatting, watch for me, you know, all the stuff I go on about and all the stuff I witter on about and all the stuff, you know, which is just, it's me talking, it's me just being me, I guess. And a lot of people like that and, um, and I've received a message from Farmer Cop today regarding, it was something unrelated, um, in that because we are going to Lama and we've got the community meet up and whatever, um, he asked me to do something. Well, he's asked all of us to do something that are attending, and um, I can't give too much away, but in, in doing that, it made me kind of stop and think about the game in general. Um, why I play it, why I do what I do, what, why this game, why, you know, and in doing what I was doing, and sort of answering that question it is so much more than I know it, it sounds the cheesiest thing ever it's so much more than me it's so much more than the game you know it is, it is way way more than that um, I've often said about when I used to teach and that if I make a difference to one person in a day if someone learns something I've done a good thing. I've made a difference. If it's more than that, I've done a good thing. And I think I have, I lose... Sometimes you lose focus on that. You lose focus on the important stuff, you know? You, you focus on the stuff that feels really important but isn't, you know? And I think that's something that when this happens it's not the first time it's happened I know people go oh he does this every now and again you know? and, and yeah I'm not, I'm not saying I don't that hasn't hit a maximum has it corn flour is this where I'm supposed to be dropping off is it? I'm sure it is oh oh how weird okay um yeah and I think the amount of people that message me to say that I had helped them, that I've helped them through a difficult time, that I've helped them through, you know, various different, whether it be an illness, whether it be a hospital stay, whether it be, you know, something like that. There we go. And that's when you stop and you say to yourself, yeah, that's, that's what's important. It's more than just the game. It's, it's a community, it's a whole thing. So, which brings me on to um, great demand of livestock bales sell point. Great demand for what, I wonder? Because I do have bales, and if it's a really good price for silage bales or something, then that's not showing anything. Oh, it's grass bales, okay. Nope, we're good. Um, sorry, I keep getting sidetracked. It's there we go, get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. Just making sure I keep everything stocked up. Um, there we go, brilliant stuff. Right. Now I have got, I mean, say, look, this is what we, we were aiming to do right from the outset. I said I wanted to make cornbread. Butter cornbread we've made. 
we're also going to make sweet cornbread, which I haven't. That's sweet cornbread, not sweet corn bread. <laughs> that would be a bit peculiar, wouldn't it? I don't know, maybe it wouldn't. I don't know. But let's put this back. Yeah, so which brings me on to the, the comments thing. And the last two videos I'd made, I, uh, my outro, I didn't add the bit about if you want to leave a comment, feel free, because I felt it was disingenuous to say to people that leave comments if people are expecting me to respond, because I, I just can't. I can't, like I said, I can't keep up with it. And I'm asking people to comment, and they're commenting thinking I'm going to respond. You know, I, I don't know if everyone does. And from reading a lot of the comments, a lot of people are saying, no, we don't. I think 99% of the people that comment, no, you can't read them all. No, you can't respond to them all. But what hadn't dawned on me, or let's say what hadn't dawned on me, I, of course I know it's a thing, but it's something that hadn't come back into my memory. And I want to thank John M. John M, you know who you are. Um... And if a couple of other people message me to say this, the comments aren't just about you. And I thought, oh, well, you know, I thought I was being told off, you know. So, all right, fair enough. I'm not, I'm not trying to be an egomaniac or anything. You know. They said, no, no. The thing about it is, if someone comments, what you're doing, you're a conduit for the community. The same as my Discord server. I'm not on my Discord server a lot, and I've said that right from the outset. When the guys on my Discord said about setting it up, I said, look, I don't have the time to set up and run a Discord server. And they said, no, no, we'll do it. We'll, we'll set it up, we'll run it, you know, we'll be your admins, your moderators. And I said, but I don't, honestly don't know how often I'll be able to get in there. And I feel bad for that, because I'm not in there as much as I should be talking to people. But what I've got to remember is, if through me, if through my channel, that has opened up a community, that's a good thing. You know, that, that if people can leave a comment on a video, if I don't respond, someone else in the community might. Might answer that question, might read it. They might read the question and go, oh, I was going to ask that. And then they might get a response. So it's not just about me responding. It's about other people. And it's about opening up that community that other people can interact with each other. So... I guess there was a, an amount of maybe arrogance I wasn't aware I was doing of that thing of, I, I, I can't do this, I can't do this. And so many people messaged me and said, you don't have to. There are a lot of people that can. You know, we're all one big, you know, we're all one big community. It doesn't have to be you that responds. Someone else can. Does every single time I come here, I lose the trigger. Sure, it's here. There we go. Uh, so we are. We now have to do fine corn flour. We've got a little bit of dried corn in there. We need fine for doing that recipe. So that recipe there for sweet cornbread requires the fine corn flour. And to do the fine corn flour, I needed dried corn, not just regular corn. I also need butter, which I've got in there, and I need sugar. So sugar's going to be something we're going to move on to. Anyway, that all being said. So yes, uh, and so thank you to everyone. You know, it, it's that kind of... You need to kick up the rear, you know? A lot of people have suggested ideas for ways I can do some different content. Um, some of them I like, and some of them are things I've done before, some of the things, and it depends how long you've been watching my channel for, I think a couple of the suggestions were things I have actually done before on Let's Plays, um, and I think it all then comes down to, as it always has been and always will be, it's what I want to do. I do what I want to do. If people want to watch, that's up to them. And uh, it's so difficult, and, and people go, we, you know, we go through this cycle, <laughs> You know, and I think everybody does. We go through this cycle every so many months. He has a wobble, and we all have to bolster him. We all have to, you know. I'm not asking anyone to blow smoke up me. You know, I'm not asking for that at all. Sorry if it's getting a bit noisy. It's, it, it hasn't stopped raining in weeks. Every single day it is bucketed down with rain at some point. Yesterday the wind was terrifying, and now I'm sitting here again, and all I can hear is the rain. It's so loud. Um, yeah, and I'm not I'm not looking for you know it's not I'm not looking for people to just pat me on the back and say how great I am. That's not that's not it. But I guess like anybody, you go through a cycle of you know, and you might struggle and you might find yourself needing a bit. And the thing is, again, I'm going to come back to it. The mental health thing, 
speak out speak to somebody talk to somebody I'm in a position where because I'm doing this whether you want to listen or not <laughs> while I'm doing this I'm just venting all the stuff that's inside is just pouring out um, Verbal digeste. I said the other day, verbal you-know-what, and someone put in the comments, verbal digeste. Yeah, verbal digeste. Um, I can just pour it out. And then when people respond, you know, and as this has happened, it's it really helps. And I think I'm lucky in that respect that I get to do that. So all I will say is, again, for the comments section, and if you're on my Discord, if you're anywhere, then call out. You know, if you need to talk, if you want to say something out loud, do it. Get it off your chest. Get it out there. You know, don't bottle it up. I think that's probably the the, the biggest thing with it. And you do lose sight of things. It's very easy to lose sight of things. It's very easy to get bogged down on, you know, whatever it might be. You get into a rut. Um, so thank you to everyone for their suggestions. Some of the suggestions, um, and I, I, I want to say this as well. Um, the, 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 I'm, I referred to a comment the other day. Whenever I refer to a comment, whether it's positive, negative, whatever, I, I very rarely, if ever, will say the person's name, especially if it's a negative one. If I'm trying to address something or explain something, if somebody's made a comment and I thought, oh, and I, I'm a little bit kind of, I need to respond to that, um, Especially if it's more than one person. Like I say, if it's one person, I can respond in the comments. Um, but if I feel it's, it's too long-winded to, to type, you know, it becomes paragraphs and paragraphs, it's easier just in this forum to address it. I never say the person's name. I never would. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not coming for people. I'm not directly having a pop at people. I'm not using this platform to belittle people. That's not what I do. Um, I appreciate people taking the time to message, to comment, to, you know, and I, I totally understand. Like I say, the comment that was left the other day that I was kind of mainly referring to um, was done in such a respectful way. It wasn't rude, it wasn't nasty, but again, it was one I thought, I need to talk about this. And I hope in the last episode on Court Farm, um, the crossover on Chipping Norton, that I was respectful in my answer. I wasn't being angry, I wasn't trying to be nasty, I was trying to just explain why the situation is the way it is, why I tackle things the way I do. Um, and I know I'm still going on about it now, because it's just something I feel that needs to be talked about, you know? I, I, I want to make sure I, I put myself across as best as I can, you know? Um, yeah, anyway. Am, am I going to never talk about any of this stuff again? Probably not. Uh, but I probably will talk about stuff. Of course I will. Um, but I just felt, you know, I wanted to thank everyone for, for reaching out and for suggestions and ideas and comments and, you know, it's always very, very much appreciated. Do I always act on them? Not necessarily, but because that's, again, that's not feasible. Um, I can, if I've got 20, 30, 40 different people that have messaged me to suggest something I could do, um, I can't do all 20, 30 suggestions. Um, I might not do any of them, or I could do a a mixture, a hodgepodge. Is it a hodgepodge or hodgepodge? I'm never quite sure. Ah! What happened there? Um, I can't do all of them, of course I can't. There we go, that's better. And sometimes you can combine ideas. You mean, oh, I like a little bit of that, I'll take a little bit of that, you know, make your own recipe from other things. Anyway, yeah, so I just thought I'd while I'm doing this again I'm still doing farming I'm not you know somebody did send, suggest and I, I do like the idea because um, I haven't really done it I know when I watch um, Adam Savage on Tested sorry I don't know this is really loud in the background I'm so sorry um, it's the only the, the positives of being out in the man cave studio there are some negatives um, which when it's horrendous weather this is one of them um, yeah, I was watching um, Adam Savage Tested, and he does his videos, obviously his, his maker, builder videos, and all this stuff he does on his channel. But he also does live streams, and he does live stream, basically just live stream Q&As, where it's just him at the camera doing a Q&A. And someone said, why don't you do that every now and again? I thought, you know what I could do? Because I did think about doing um, a Q&A where I get people, like, and it's difficult as well when people get 
the Discord server is there for a reason, and again, it's a community. It's there for people to go on and chat and talk, and you know, there are a lot of great friendships on there. There's some, you know, like I said, the guys on there are fantastic, and I consider most of the guys on there. <laughs> that sounds awful because there are some that I don't know. They're all friends. They're all they're great people. Um, and they're just doing the right thing. They're doing a good thing, you know. Um, that if I was going to say, look, I'm, I'm thinking about doing a Q and A video, but I need somewhere for those questions to be collated, you know. So it'd have to be on Discord. It's the it's the only way. There needs to be one centralised place where people can go on and submit questions. Because if I just say, look, submit questions again, it could be across YouTube, Twitter, Discord direct messages and then the time it takes to go through all of those social medias to find all of the questions amongst everything else to collate them all it needs to be one place so if I was going to which I might do at some point I might one evening maybe do a live stream of just me just me in front of the camera not necessarily in gameplay and do a Q&A and if it's live I can answer questions live as well where people you know where people if they're in the chat they can ask me questions and I'd say ask anything I mean that's mm, <laughs> maybe not anything but um, a lot of the stuff I've talked about before but you might be new to the channel there might be a burning question you've always wanted to ask and I haven't ever answered in which case go for it um, I am kind of because I enjoyed it so much and I kind of did a bit on the Western Wilds the Western Wilds was quite a flat open map and a lot of people like that let's play the same as frontier was one of those ones that blew up frontier was a nuts let's play it was one of those ones there was no i say there was no rhyme or reason to it, i suppose because it was so different that the original map tour and the the episodes i did got crazy viewed i mean absolutely bonkers views um and it's always difficult to find that fine line of You've got all the people saying, we don't want to see the bonkers, crazy, stupid stuff. We don't want to see loads of productions. We just want to see farming, which I was doing on Court Farm, which I tried to do in the crossover. Um, and then when I do that, you've then got the other people saying, oh, but just normal farming is boring. We want to see more of the cool stuff. We want to see the productions. We want to see the new equipment. So you kind of, it's, it's a tricky one, isn't it? It's finding that balance. So again, it comes down to what do I want to do? And Homerkra was one of those ones I really enjoyed clearing the land, starting a little farm up, getting it going. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards something like that. I did have that, I mentioned a while ago, that bonkers, uh, a bonkers idea. Um, a Floor is Lava series. And it was, I can't remember what map it was, where you literally just started and you had a little, it was like a little logging, it was a circle basically, you had a circle of land, that was it. Um, and that's leased, isn't it? I didn't buy that. That was just to do this contract because this is my harvester. Um, what I'll do, I'll get this out of the way, then we'll get the lorry off the field. Um, I have got permission from the farmer to take the straw. That was the point of leasing the uh, forage pickup because we need straw for bedding and I don't have any crops in the ground yet, which I need to move on to as well. And I've done it again. I know I'm talking a lot, um, but because I want to. And again, that's kind of, it's interesting when people message and say, I should do this, I should do that, why haven't I done this, why haven't I done that? Um, and I, you know, it's my job to do X, Y, and Z. It's my job to do whatever I want, <laughs> realistically. It's my channel, I can do anything. If I want to, it, it really is up to me. So, yeah, it's, it's a curious one, you know. I think you can make a rod for your own back and because you, you go down a route of if you always do this, this and this, that's what people expect. And then when you don't do that, people wonder why you haven't or why it's not there. And again, that's why I try and do videos where I talk like this and I'll explain why things are the way they are, why I have done something or I haven't done something. So, uh, yeah. As a percentage today, I reckon 80, 85. Yesterday I was 60 to 70, I, and I think by the end of the day, maybe up to a 70. Um, a little bit higher today, I think. I'm feeling a lot more positive today, a lot more, you know, like I say, I can't thank people enough for reaching out, and it just helps to ground you and get your perspective back, you know, and I think you need that every now and again. Um, and it's there, it's always there, 
and you know and when people say stuff you stop and go yeah of course you know they're absolutely right of course they're absolutely right um but it's surprising how quickly you can forget certain things you know anyway yeah so i don't know i don't know where i'm going to go what i'm going to do but at the moment i'm playing this at the moment i'm doing this i'm doing court and the crossover there are a couple of targets i want to reach on each of those on well, this and the other one um this one we're going to ramp up a little bit again today and i know this one is more production heavy than court and that was what that was intentional because uh, this is a bigger map with bigger fields bigger contracts available and i wanted to make sure that oh, no, i didn't open i wanted to make sure that this one had more productions on hence the potatoes hence the firewood um hence the strawberry ice cream and you know so am i going to add to that yeah i'm making pumpkins i've got strawberries on the go the cows are producing milk we've now got sheep who are producing wool you know it, this was going to be a more production heavy one that was the point i do actually still want to have a go at doing because there's that coffee production i want to have a go at the coffee production i know it's it's, it's basically just it's, you know it's a greenhouse mod to a degree there's you know unless you're on a map where you can actually do coffee vines and there are a few maps about will I have any oat left after this maybe where am I taking this to actually that's a good point didn't even check the contracts did I to the grain mill which is hang on a minute how's that gonna work I own the grain mill what's around the back cover on i'll see you at the grain mill sorry i'll stop going on now it was like i say just you know all these things i was i've been thinking i just wanted to you know call and response i think it's at the front it's curious I've saved it because I'm a little bit puzzled here. Oh, there we go. Keep an eye top right. Okay. Not left with much, are we? Contract is finished, let's go to subside the back. Why is my why has my trailer got a license plate that says Merry Christmas on it? Huh? That's peculiar. What's my lorry got on it? Weird. Okay, contract complete. Didn't have anything left over, that's fine. I don't always expect to. Collect. No contracts available, so we'll see what happens moving forward. So, uh, I need to get down to, or back to the field. I'm going to get some more of that straw off. That's going to go into our hayloft with all the alfalfa hay. And I think then moving forward, we should be pretty good for the cows for quite a long time now. And sheep for feed, uh, for yeah, well, yeah, all of it. we should be absolutely fine. So, what we're going to do now is I'm going to move some once we've got the straw off that field, I'm going to move some oats over to the little cottage industry, the little factory thing I've got there because I can do soy drink as well. Not that's what I say oats for. <laughs> I'm going to move oats to make soy drink. No, I'm going to make move soy and water to make soy drink, and I'm going to put another one in. The, the next one is going to be so we can make sugar so it's a lot like a mini sugar factory um, in the same building style and I think I can move the sugar beet over because we've got all the sugar beet from one of the sugar beet contracts that's in my my um, beet storage at the farm and we can get some of that going what I think I'm going to do now is go through because my pumpkins are on automatic selling now um, I think I'm my um, 
strawberry ice cream is automatic selling now. I think I'm going to put the firewood onto automatic selling as well. Uh, and I'm not sure yet because we haven't, have we haven't had any um, carrot soup come out yet, have we? We've had some potato soup. I've delivered a load of that. We haven't had any carrot soup come out yet. Considering all the carrots we've delivered and it's pretty much full. And that should make us a tidy bit of money. That, that soup factory, that'll pay for itself and we should have a load of money left over. So that's all good. Um, but I think I need to swap a few of these over now. Stop it there. Lovely job. Now we're looking here. 29772. Let's click on that. Firewood in bulk, at the moment we're in storing, let's put it on selling. So any more that that produces, that will automatically sell. Those I will have to take, that's not a problem at all. I'm just thinking if I can mop up the spare pallets of things that are knocking around, we can get those all taken off and sold. I need to move the sugar beet that's in there and we'll put that into a new production we put that in. How's the fermenting going on that? We need to go to there. 50%, nice, right. Uh, that's potato. And we are on carrot soup, one, two, six, six. Oh, look at the amount of carrots we've got in there. So yeah, we're gonna get a load of soup from here. I mean, I, I, you, you get more money delivering yourself. I can't remember what it was, what the, God, oh, we're into what, year three now, aren't we? So it was, was it 20%? I'm trying to think, if you sell directly, was it 20% you lose? It's a, it's a chunk of money, isn't it? But then it, take, it takes off the pressure of, having to keep loading up trailers. It depends how you want to look at it, really. Um, oh, I tied up all the bales. Because I was collecting the bales off that field. Oh, I haven't done these ones. These ones were weird. These were, you know, I've got two or three 25,000 litre ones. Because that quick bale, I switched up to the next bale size and forgot that it had changed. I think it's changed back since as well. Because <laughs> it was 10,000 litre bales, wasn't it? It went 10, 25s and 50s. Um, and then it got changed again. And it went, because these should all be 10s, right? Then it changed again. I think it's seven fives, 25s and 50s. I don't know, anyway. So I've got some very peculiar bale sizes. I think that's a 25 as well, isn't it? Oh, it's a five, five. Oh, God, blimey, I've got bales all over the shop here. Still got all this that we originally put in. So yeah, there's all sorts going on. Um, this has been fertilized. We go back to our mappage. Just to show you where we are, if we go to this soil composition. So I have been across this, and that has now been fertilised. That's been fertilised now, because we cut that. Once you cut it, it goes back to one fertilising state. So I've been across the whole lot, that's all been done. We've got a lot of fertiliser left now. If I turn that off... Yeah, somebody said to me um, that... You know, I had the, the weeds in the field, and it said weeds were growing. Apparently, that was the corn texture... And then someone else messaged to say that it was because I had the um, fertilizer option there turned on. So if I turn that off, the top one should show weeds, but it, I haven't got any weeds growing on the map anywhere, according to this. Although it says they are. So I don't know. We'll see if we get weeds come up. It is turned on, so I don't know. Um, but anyway, so yeah, just so you can see, actually most of the map... Wow, okay, most of the map's double fertilised. I know I did some fertilising contracts, but not that many. Um, which does mean when harvest contracts come up, they're going to be... monster. There's not many that need lime either. So they should all be pretty good, contract-wise. Anyway, yeah, so that's where we're at with that. Um, like I said, I need to get the straw back, which I'll go over to the field and we get that. But what I'm going to do... Oh, we've got another butter that needs to go. I have to be careful, and this is something, again, a teaching moment, the learning curve, whatever you want to look at. And it's going to be, again, obvious to a lot of people. If you already know, you know. That's fantastic. But if you don't know, when you've got a production and you can set it to distributing, which means that, that will distribute whatever it is you're making to other facilities, and that's the key, the key word there, other facilities that take it. So... If I want my unsalted butter to go to my bakery, and only my bakery, then I probably need to take it myself. If I set it to distributing, you might have two or three productions on the map 
that require butter. If you set it to distributing, it will distribute to all three. It will split down the amount, so the one you're intending it to go to, you'll get, a, you know, if it's three, it could be four, it could be two, it could be whatever. You'll only get a fraction of whatever it was you were going to send out. So that's something to be aware of. If you're going to set something to distributing, have a look at the productions on the map and just think about the ones it might go to, you know, because you could end up sending it to you know, more places, multiple places, depending on what, you've got, you, what you have got going. So in the style of the red barns, which is what we've gone for here, I'm going to put another one of these in. But the one I'm going to be putting in, I think it's potato production. I'm going to put it right next to it. I probably need to landscape this a little bit afterwards. But again, I'll leave that for the time being. Might put a shed over that, I don't know. We're going to put it here. And then I'm going to bring sugar beet over, put the sugar beet in, and we'll get some sugar going. So then the sugar, the butter, and the um, fine corn flour, we can then get the sweet corn bread going. Of course, I'm saying that. Yeah. Apostrophes and, and commas are important. Remember that. <laughs> right. There we go. All good. So, this one. French fries, premium potatoes, sugar beet sugar, and pig food. I don't need pig food, we haven't got pigs, but that we can do. Two to one ratio, we've got plenty of sugar beet, we'll get some sugar beet in there, get some sugar going, and so then we can take the sugar, yeah. So we'll have a lot, yeah, all sorts of stuff going. Um, yeah, like I say, this is all going exactly how it should be. This bit's perfect. We are producing stuff with things that we've already produced. I still need to do something with all of this. How much we've got there? 73,000. As we know from Court Farm, it doesn't go as far as you might think. <laughs> Do you think it's going to go a lot further than it does? You are almost better at a point. I mean, like I say, it depends. If you want to go ultra-realistic, if you've got so much of the stuff, and again with slurry or whatever, and digest that if you're running a biogas plant, to get slurry spreaders and that kind of stuff, and yeah, absolutely, go to town. Um, if you've got that many cows running and pigs running and you've got the stuff coming out your ears, go for it. But it, it does go very quickly. You're almost at a point where when you've got an amount being produced that's not enough to maybe fertilise your fields, you're better off using that with a production. And there are plenty knocking around where you can produce chemical fertiliser from it because it will go a lot further. But again, you don't have to. Do what you want. And yeah, at the end of the day, it's just a suggestion. <laughs> As these things always are. I was going to use a trailer, but I thought, you know what, I'll do... I don't know if it'll work, but as soon as we've got the telehandler here. I forgot I had the strawberries on the um, pallet forks already. Let's drop that off. Let's grab a little bit of this. I did go around to give everything a bit of a jet whoosh because it was all looking a little bit messy, um, which you might notice from. Will that work from the bucket? We're about to find out. Uh, apparently not. Oh, I thought that would work. Closer, maybe? There we go. Uh, Should we? Uh, hang on. Hang on, where's all? Did I? I thought I brought it all over. Please tell me that hasn't vanished. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Wagwan. Oh, it's all still at the main silo, you muppet. I've got to go and get it. <sighs> Don't need that there now then. I thought I'd bought it over already. Apparently I haven't. Right, I've got a job to do. Right, so I'm going to bring some of the straw back. I'll, I'll do that in a moment. You've already seen me get one tra full trailer load off that field. Oh no! Oh, you idiot. I just realised what I've done. I completed the contract. 
I delivered the oats and completed the contract which means all the straw that's on the field is now no longer on the field You know what Tom Pemberton always says? What never takes a day off? Danger. And why do things get dangerous? They get dangerous when you lose focus. Focus, 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 people. Pay attention to the details. <laughs> this is Mr. Silly P. Don't be like him. <laughs> He's an idiot. Oh, oh, I can't believe I did that got so caught up in delivering the oats, did that and thought, oh, brilliant, complete the contract. Oh. I feel like such a fool. Well, we rescued 33,600 litres. Which, on the grand scheme of things, was the most expensive 33,600 litres because it cost me 3,000 and something to lease the um, to lease the forage pickup because leasing the forage pickup when you've got a contract a contract that leaves a straw swath you can use the forage pickup to pick it up we've had this conversation before but again if you knew you might not know that so if there's a contract you can get the straw off the field as well as the crop provided you've got permission from the farmer to do so. So leasing that forage pickup at three and a half grand is worth it if you do a field and you come out of it with two, three hundred thousand litres of straw that you can use for bedding or tow mix ration or whatever. It's it's worth doing, why not? Um, you can go to a buy anything silo, you can go to the, you know, the local, um, maybe animal dealer might in inverted commas, might have straw for you to buy, depending on how your your farming area is set up. And it could be really, really cheap to do that. <laughs> so it wouldn't be as expensive as three and a half grand for 33,000 litres of straw. But that's my own fault. I, I didn't call the ball, man. Did not call the ball. Right. <sighs> Go and get the root crops then. <laughs> Go and get the sugar beet, bring that over. I had to load all these odds and ends on, on and get them all uh, sold. So what I'll do is uh, get the uh, flatbed trailer out. I'll get the forks back on. Wow. What's the matter with me today? It's an interesting one um, because someone asked actually in the comments and said, you know, just go back and think about why you started playing the game in the first place. Um, and is it all about making money? No, it's not all about making money, but it is my job now, <laughs> so it's, it's a big chunk of it. Do I still love playing the game? Yes. Is it still a passion? Absolutely. It's 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 my life. It's the it's the biggest part of my life, a part of my life that my family are all involved in. You know, including my extended family. They all know what I do. They all support it. You know, birthdays and Christmas, I generally get farming-related stuff. This was one of the first years I didn't really get much farming-related stuff, which, you know, doesn't bother me. That's fine, but... Um, it's interesting, is all. So, yeah, I'm absolutely I'm passionate about it. I, I love playing the game, and it's, it's more evident as well. When I'm doing things, if I have a couple of days off, like over Christmas, or if I go with Mrs. Silly P, now, normally... Nine times out of ten when we've been on holiday, I'll take my place. I was saying about washing all the gear. Because I, I, I put this shelter on the side here, this is where my root crop harvester now hides. That is the carrot header, but if we get any other root crop contracts, I can lease a different header, and we've got this to blitz away at it. Um, but that looks nice and nice now. It's all clean and tidy. Um, and I, I absolutely love playing the game. So yeah, if I take my PlayStation away with me, if we go away for a week, I'll take my PlayStation with me, I always do. If we go for a couple of days, I don't. And it also depends where we're staying. If we're staying in a bed and breakfast or something like that, 
I, I don't take my PlayStation with me to, to make videos. If we're staying in Deanscale at my wife's friend's barn or the, the cottage, then absolutely I will. Um, and if I don't play the game, if it li literally two or three days, I get withdrawal symptoms. If we're driving around and I see farm machinery, I see actual farming happening, I'm like, oh, I want to get back and play the game. <laughs> Honestly, it's, it's... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to put this in sideways because these are actually quite heavy. So I'm going to load these up. I'll see you back here in a little while. I'm going to get these taken away and delivered. And then I'll probably put the, what, that potatoes we've got there as well. Get that taken. And... Um, get these up and got rid of and then what I'll do is bring the um, sugar beet back and we'll get some sugar underway I think is where we need to go. I also need to put a crop in that massive field now. I'm thinking maybe doing rye. Um, I'm thinking about doing peas maybe. Um, I really need something I can get straw from. <laughs> but I'm hoping we get some contracts come up for other, other fields around the area from other farmers. Um, that we can maybe get some straw from so it's not as important so I thought about just picking up a crop that I haven't done either before or much I did some peas on Edgewater but not many of them and not enough to really make me a decent amount of money it, it didn't seem to yield particularly well um, but that might have just been because I hadn't really prepped the field properly maybe I don't know so yeah I'm just thinking do I do peas or rye? Hmm. That's better. It was suggested that I do a no mod let's play. No mods at all, no production, and stuff like that. And again, you, you run the risk, it's, it's a difficult one, of whilst you think, oh, that'd be quite cool, sort of back to basics, which is what I've been trying to, although I'm, I'm running mods, but not many and not many productions on core. Um, for people that love seeing new bits of equipment, mods being used, productions, you can switch off half of your viewers, you know, and I don't want people to go, oh, I, I was really looking forward to this, but I don't want to watch it now, you know, I, I want people to enjoy the content, I want people to enjoy what I'm doing, so I guess finding that sweet spot, a nice balance between... Um, whilst it sounds, it's an interesting concept, and I like the idea. Someone said to do a uh, was it a no tractor let's play? So you don't, you can't have a tractor. So you'd have to look at other bits of equipment and machinery. So telehandlers and various different. I suppose it depends what the definition then becomes of what is a tractor, because there are tractor units. There's the sin track, which I suppose technically that is a tractor, isn't it? Um, Somebody suggested only running tractors with a certain amount of horsepower, which again, that's an interesting one. Can't go above a certain amount. But again, you've got that thing of, you know, I haven't done a Let's Play for a little while where I've built up, built up, built up, gone bigger, 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 um, and tried to get big machinery, high horsepower. You know, this one, I've stuck with fairly straightforward bits and bobs here and there. We bought the sugar beet harvester. And we were lucky enough to get the uh, the John Deere harvester second hand. Oh, that's a good point, actually. What's on the second hand market? Have I looked recently? Used vehicle sales. Oh, it's all the stuff I sold before, isn't it? Uh, yeah, no, nothing really. That's those. Oh, got two potatoes now. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. See, I have absolutely lost it. I might be my exterior. I may have had a flap yesterday, and I may have be, be recovering today, but I'm definitely still not all there. That much is evident. It's all good. I keep saying it's all good. as well oh and the butter needs to go over but I've got to be careful with the butter that needs to go to the bakery not to be sold so anyway right I'll see you back in a little while I'll get all these sold and we'll uh, I'll see you back here with the uh, the sugar bit
There we go. <laughs> so as you've seen, I finally got the soybean drink or soy drink underway. <laughs> Salt other bits and bobs, so we're up again a bit on the money. Um, on off the back of what I was saying earlier about the game and what Farmer Cop had asked me to do, like I say, a bit, bit cryptic, I know, but um, cryptic, cryptic, <laughs> cryptic. Um, I think that that concept, especially with production chains, is the farm on here. As the game is more than just a game, it's more than just a farm. It's more once you move into productions, and I've said this so many times before. For, for all the people that, that say, "Oh, production is ridiculous. It shouldn't be part of the game." Blah blah blah. And I, I've said it so many times before. So many of the YouTubers that I watch now, so many of the farms, and when I watch some of those YouTubers, they go and visit other farms. Who, because of the way farming is at the moment, or is now, or however you want to look at it, are diversifying into so many different areas and avenues of what their farm can produce whether it be making alcohols from potatoes and distilleries whether it be making cheese whether you know whatever it might be it becomes more than just a farm it becomes more than just farming it's a bigger prospect and i think that's what this is now more than just a farm isn't it any any farm you're running where you start doing you know and again, it comes down to whatever your definition of farming is. It always makes me smile and made me laugh watching Clarkson's farm. And even now as well, um, Caleb Cooper is a farmer, a farm contractor. He wants to have his own farm. He leases some, some farmland at the moment, I think from Jeremy Clarkson. Um, as soon as you do any type of farming, you are a farmer. On whatever scale, whether you're running really small compact tractors, whether you're running medium size, whether you're running farm estates, if you do any kind of farming, you are a farmer. I suppose the definition then is are they saying, are you a farmer for life? Have you been a farmer for life? Then when you've got second, third, fourth, fifth generation farmers, someone had to be the first generation farmer. Someone had to be. Um, so it's interesting what your definition is of what farming is. If farming is just putting stuff in the ground, taking stuff out of the ground and selling it, fine. But that's if you're an arable farmer. Livestock farmers, that's a whole different ballgame. But then there is so much, so much other farming around the world. It's not just crops. When you look at tree plantations, they are farming trees. At the end of the day, that's what it is. It, you know, it's forestry. But it depends on the plantation, the site, you know. So again, it, it all comes down to your definition. But it's more than just a farm. I think is is it? Yeah. Whereas I think court farm is. Um, I've tried to keep that a farm. Yes, court farm is a um, a country park. So I suppose that in itself is more than just a farm, isn't it? They've turned their farm into a country park. It's become a visitors' attraction. It's become somewhere for people to go. So it's not just a farm, it's a, not even a show farm really, it's, it's more than that isn't it? So I guess, yeah, what is a farm? So I suppose the thumbnail, you'll know already by now, but I don't know at this moment. More than just a farm or what is a farm? What, what should be the thumbnail? I don't know. Cover open. Oh actually no, you know what I'll do. I think I'm sitting on tip side back, aren't I? It's so tip side front. Let's tip into here first. Assume I've gone tip side front. There we go. Boom. Sugar, let's go. Could probably just put it all in. Do I want it all as sugar? Um, what the? That's not right. Try that again. Um, what's just happened? I'm... Uh... 
blah, blah. Okay, as if my brain wasn't fried enough already. What is happening? Huh? How is that saying over a million litres? That's not right. Sure, that's gonna. That'll reset itself, won't it? Please reset it. I have no idea what's happening at the moment. <laughs> I was gonna say, and with that, we're now producing sugar. Um, are we? Nothing has actually changed, has it? Got more to go and collect, but I'm a little bit. The rest I'll go and get. I'll put into this the root crop storage over there. I don't know what's happening. I, I'm. <laughs> it's time for a lie down. <laughs> time for a lie down. What is that saying? One million seventy-seven thousand five hundred. We put seventy-seven thousand five hundred in. Where did the million come from? Huh? What? What? No, um... <sighs> and breathe. And on that, um... Curiosity. We've got one litre of sugar. Yay! Um, we'll see what happens now. Um... Hmm. It's not often I'm lost for, lost for words, is it? Um, as you can see from this episode. But on that um, oddity, uh, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. <laughs> if you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. As always... And I really, really do mean this. Thanks for watching. <laughs>